I'd like to say a massive thank you to the FIFA family for letting me upload my Legend Patrick Clara review. My channel link will be in the description, so drop down there and give me a sub if you do like the content. Also subscribe to the FIFA family as they are a great community channel with a big future ahead of them, so don't forget to hit the sub on this channel as well. What's up lads and today we are going to be reviewing the legend Cliver. He is an absolute beast on the game. I didn't in fact pack him so if you want to go see that video make sure you check the link in the description. Oh, I went absolutely insane. His card stats are on the screen now. 22 goals in 19 games also for assists. He has got that perfect high low work rate 6 foot 2. Um, his in game stats are also on the screen now if you want to go have a look. It costs, roughly costs around 1.4 1.4 million coins that is a bit overpriced for any player I don't think any player should be worth that but he has got 91 finishing 87 heading accuracy 84 long shots 93 shot power 86 volleys 94 reactions 91 jumping 87 acceleration 99 stamina 82 strength 81 aggression 90 positioning and 84 vision high quality player but recommend you paying about 700k well you probably won't get him for 700k but that's what I think his price should be at. So now lads, as I tell you a bit more about him, I'm going to let some clips run in the background. But as you can probably tell, I I aren't feeling the best today. I've got a cold, it's just done my head in. So hopefully that can be sorted for my next video or maybe the next two or three. But then the things I liked about him, he was very strong, he was very fast and he had very good shot power. His finishing was sublime. The thing I didn't like about him was his dribbling. Um, he, he, for some reason, he ran into players a lot. I don't know if that was just me or whenever he tried to do a quick turn, he, he just ran straight into them. So it's more of his agility than dribbling. I liked his skill moves, which is a bit odd if I didn't like his dribbling. So four star is perfect. Um, if it was five, it, it'd just go for an absolute bomb. But his finishing overall was fantastic. Just look at that there. Shakes off a defender. Shoots and it hits the post and goes in. That was like that with every shot. But the skill moves, as you can see, sometimes he will pull off a good dribbling goal. That's what I mean with his dribbling. It is a bit on and off. That's what I couldn't really get about him here. See, he sprints through here, takes on the keeper, and then just dinks it over him. A nice little finish. I can't really praise his finishing enough. And getting onto his heading now, and you can see he does score a lot of headed goals in these clips. One there bags it in the 35th minute to put us 1-0 up and then another headed goal here. He should have finished that first time but then he does finish up the rebound climbing above the defenders. I think one game he didn't actually get a hat-trick of headers. I think it was in fact this game. Look he just beats the defender with ease and just heads it into the empty net. Um, and this is the final clip of the episode now so if you have enjoyed make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you are new around here as well and I shall see you all next